to exercise your authority. All right. Mark 16, let's take Mark 16, 17 to 18. Jesus describes an expectation for those who believe. Can we read now? Please, it's important. Follow this part. And these signs will follow those who believe. Read. In my name, they will listen. Who cast out the demon? Jesus or you? So if you say, Jesus, come and defend your name alone. Are you right or wrong? You are wrong. Unless you are saying that she come and give you power. But you are still, you are still wrong one kind. <laughs> so, anywhere there is a demon, who has received the charge to cast them out? He says, if you believe, if you see demon, cast him out. Lord, they are pressing me. Lord, come and help me. No, cast it out. Let's go back. And these times before them will believe, read. In my name, they will cast out. They will speak with new tongues. You see verse 18. They will take up serpents. And if, not when, if. So don't go be drinking, looking for acid to drink. He say if. It means as a person give you. If. Somebody say if. He say if it happens that Satan attacks you. If they drink anything deadly. Anything what? He said, the thing is deadly. It shall by no means hurt them. No corona, no cholera. It shall by no means hurt them. And they will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. So we see here that we are called to exercise our authority. To exercise your authority means to, to do that which you are given the power to do. If you come to your house, I watched something that happened. Uh, some people came and stole somewhere. The gate man was there and he was sleeping. I think it was his Chad, Chadian embassy, something like Chadian embassy. They came, the gate man was sleeping. Guess what? They entered the stall. When they were going out, he woke up. They held him and they killed him. If he was awake, when the guys were jumping from the fence, you would have seen them. Because he was in the house, they were outside. They came not show them. They jumped into the fence, he was sleeping. They used iron bar, opened the door, he was still sleeping. If he was up, you have sound the alarm. So, he did not exercise his authority because he was sleeping. While men slept, the devil now comes. It means when men do not exercise the authority, they give room and space for Satan to afflict and oppress in their territory. While men slept. Nothing changes with time. It go better, but not with time. You go better by faith. You must do something. Your life can never change by saying, I know the next day go they find. This is oh say this is so, uh, so many feel like as you be 31st night. Satan say, hey, 31st night, man, go. No, do you think that 31st night means that I will die? See, I know. Hmm. 2023, first January is old. 31st Satan will go. go. Certainly, he says, saying, oh, what will do crossover? We feel like. As I reach 30 years, listen to me. Time does not handle Satan, only faith does. So, to think that Satan can be resisted by time is to foolishly give yourself for him to kill you before your own time. Are you following me now? So, number one, to exercise your authority, number one, you have to resist Satan. Let's see James 4, verse 7. Someone say, Resist. Can I hear it clearer? <laughs> Shout it louder. Shout it louder. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Notice, the devil only flees when you resist. First Peter 5 8 says, Your adversary, the devil, walks about looking for whom to devour. If he happens to come to your house, what do you do? You pack it and leave him there. He said, Resist. Now, resisting the devil is what Jesus showed us in Matthew chapter 4 from verse 4 or verse 3 to verse 10. He says, while he was fasting, the devil came to him. To resist the devil means to reject evil 
thoughts by confessing scripture resisting the devil is not yet fight when satan comes to your life the first area where he begins to walk is in thoughts can we go there now let's go to john 13 verse 2 Read, and supper being ended, the devil having already what put someone say put the devil put into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. So when if you read verse twenty seven, he say I think twenty seven he say and Satan entered him, but when Satan comes first, before he makes you sick, he gives you thoughts of sickness, thoughts of death, thoughts of trouble. This marriage will break, this child will die. This car will have accident. He, if you don't resist Satan, li listen to me. If you don't resist Satan at the level of thoughts, it is very hard to rebuke him at the level of his works. Once you fail in resisting your thoughts, oh my God, there are some sicknesses that will never have come on your body if you had resisted them when they came in your mind. M Matthew 9 4. Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts? Now, I want, say, I want to show you something. What do you entertain? Bring it up, please. Matthew 9, 4. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Look at this. This is your house, right? This is your house. And well, let's assume, let's say this is your house. Let me use password. This is your house. And I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. Come. Come. Sorry, eh? Watch this. Evil thoughts. Eh? So a stranger comes to your house and is telling you that, see, eh? Hmm. You will die, oh. You will die. Then, no, wait. Now, give her a chair. Give her a chair to sit down. Give her a drink to drink. What are you doing? You are entertaining. Another thought, come. You have accident, come. You say, ah, welcome, 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 welcome. You give him chair, give him chair to sit down. Give him water to drink. You say, no, you should not wait. You drink, I give you juice, I give you chop. Watch what is happening. He, what is he doing? He's entertaining, listen to me, don't laugh, be focused. He's entertaining evil thoughts. He has given them room. And these are the people that will open door for accident and poverty to come. Because the thought is the one that comes to open the door. He cannot give you accident, but he can open the door for the spirit that gives accident to enter. So, normally, come. When this thought comes and say, you will die. What should you have done? I will not die. That's it. I find you. I cast. No, this way, don't cast. You are just. <laughs> I will not die. Now. Nah. Listen to me. Listen. Be focused. Be focused. Don't just laugh. Be focused. Watch. So you are walking. A thought comes to you. This marriage seven, you think will even fail. When I true. Because the way that sometimes my husband used to behave. I'm not sure this thing will last. What are you doing? You are giving drink and food to evil thoughts. Jesus said, he didn't say, what, he said, what do you mean? He said, that you have no power to stop the thought from coming. But you can choose not to give him a room in your house. Why do you entertain? You received him, give him a chair, give him drink, and go and give him room. Say sleep, sleep in my house. We have opened our heart to bad thoughts. The whole day you are thinking about if you die, how we die? If I die, eh? now what did you? You are, you are planning your death in your mind. You don't know what you are doing. Don't laugh. Listen to what I'm saying. You start seeing your mother dead. You are entertaining evil thoughts. And by that doing, you are so Satan will send a thought that you have to resist it. By how? Listen, when the thought come, you don't think, you talk. You say, in the name of Jesus, he said, I won't die. This thing can make you walk and talk alone on the road. Go back. We should go. Thank you. <laughs> Let me show you something. Look at this. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> in the realm of the spirit. The spirit that operate a lot are called familiar spirits. Familiar spirit normally says spirit away, you come your family. <laughs> familiar spirit is a kind of spirit, but they are like dwarfs, like small monkeys. When you have seen them in your dreams, they shut shut. Now listen, when they come, they always, always 
come and sit on your shoulder and start talking to your ear what they say is what comes as thoughts in your mind if you begin quarreling with your husband or wife he'll come and say tell him that she's a foolish woman you just say foolish woman tell him that he's mad mad man he's giving you things to say and the more you the more you yield yourself to the thoughts and say it but if the thoughts come and you resist it you know what you do he will leave you you will you see come back so you resist to leave her right so you just come your mind says you will fail exam i don't know where i don't know how this school he has begun i wouldn't fail exam i won't fail exam you just come and you just come i mean they are, as a prophet you see them <laughs> once we begin to minister in the spirit we see them i've seen people walk into my office and they have these monkeys on their shoulder short like dwarfs with tail and they are jumping this is what they do they are they, they, they can't make you sick but they come and tell you say so if the devil want to make you sick we send a familiar spirit remember the familiar spirit, spirit come on your family the familiar spirit will come and come and tell you you'll be sick you'll be sick you'll die you'll be sick you'll die you'll be sick you'll die you'll die you'll die, you'll die. I say, I say with that it has begun once the thoughts enter as you begin to entertain the thoughts the next thing the spirit of fear now come you start being afraid that you will die then the spirit of death come and you are gone so you resist the thoughts don't yield yourself to satan are you listening to me that is why one of the greatest states of mind that weaken a man's power to resist thought is anger once you are angry anything the family spirit tell you you will say is the insult you can insult your children you will tell them until you get angry it's because some things you say in anger it's not you saying them it's spirit speaking to you like a satan he said peter tell jesus he's not gonna die peter turn he said lord you will not die jesus said eh? satan pass for back he knew he was satan he knew so the words that Peter spoke he heard it from a demon there are many things you say to your husband you heard from demon there are many things you tell your wife you hear from demon there are things you tell even yourself you hear from demon they come always on the shoulder and they're jumping they make some kind of noise they make like hey, big. you know one will do the living is them that have that kind of voice they have a shrieky voice like hey, and they will laugh and they are very malev malevolent. Uh, no. You fear. That's all. It's a whisper. There's sometimes they'll shout. You will die. You will die. You will die. You will die. Just ah, your heart beat. It's them. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me, people of God. If you don't resist, you are finished. If you forget about. There are two things resist and rebuke if you don't resist you can't rebuke you re it's in the name of jesus so how do i know spiritual warfare has begun once i begin to have evil thoughts about myself my wife my children i say hey they don't start that's what i say you see anger you see worry you see fear it will weaken your power no matter how anointed you are if you get angry you will say you will speak the words of satan Moses was angry, he disobeyed God inside anointing. Forget about anointing, though. If you yield to anger, what you will say, you will not believe you can say such things. There are many things you say that are not your words, they were borrowed from spirits. But once you have said them, they may come to pass if you do not break them back in prayer. Are you listening to me now? What is this, Seth? Let this thing even ah, he's telling you, he'll tell you, what is this, Seth? Who do you think you are? You say, who do you think you are? Eh? You so, so because you pay my fees, you think now what? If like you don't pay my fees again, that's why you come to school. The demon spoke, you spoke because you were angry. Marriages have been broken because family spirit spoke and the husband told the wife, pack your bag, go self. The woman goes inside regret. The pride will not make you go and call for her back. Be careful, though. I'm talking about life, you may be careful. Do you see the spirits? Or most of us here now, they are here. They can in as they can wait as, as I close, you can't bind them. <laughs> you, you, you know, if you bind them, say I can't you can't cast them, you can only resist them. Because say I cast you, you you do like this. 
Then tomorrow, he come back again. I told you that you will die. That's how he does. They are, they are, I don't know I can put it there. Demonic, familiar spirits. So, to spend a day with that scripture, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, be honest. There are times you think things and you wonder if you're a pastor now. Yes, sir. So, ah, be pastor. Yeah, they are not your thoughts. They are, listen to me. They are not your thoughts. They are, he, but when you yield to the thoughts, so, spiritual maturity is the ability to recognize and resist evil thoughts and not entertain them. That thoughts that come, you will die. Is it good to die? No. Sickness is good? No. Job! Sat down. Before Satan came to Job, he sent a familiar spirit. He said, and Job gave offering, saying, maybe my children have sinned and will die. Who told him that thing? Familiar spirit. They are beginning to go die. You go lost your money. You go die. I just you go die. Wait. Satan told God. He said, take everything Job has and it will cost you. He said it in heaven also. In heaven. How come the wife of Job told Job, cost God and die? Who told her this? The same statement that Satan used in heaven. The wife of Job used. Who told her? It's a family that gave her idea. What's your husband said? He's telling him to just die and rest. What is this thing? What is it to this life? Just die. He said, just cast God and die now. And he answered, You speak like a foolish woman. Bible says the fool says in his heart, There is no God. So the fool is under the economy of the set of Satan. You can't cast them, they are not castable. You can look at a girl and they tell you, Look at her breast now, look at her body. If you don't fight it, it's a matter of time. Either with her or another person, you will fall. You have to resist. The battle starts here. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strong or bring it up, casting down imagination and making every thought. Next verse. We demolish. No, bring it. No, bring Okay. Arguments. Okay. knowledge of God, bringing every every what? Every thought into captivity. So, there are thoughts that you need to capture. These thoughts are familiar spirits. Are you with me? Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now, how do you resist? How do you resist? If they say you will die, what do you say? Yes. You resist the devil not by speaking to him, by confessing scripture. Speaking to him is rebuking. We'll come for that part. <laughs> you will die. I will not die in the name of Jesus. I have the life of God. You say it. You say it. You say it. Somebody tell you, I didn't say you die. I will not die. Satan can make your friend to have a dream to give you fear. So refuse it, oh. Yes, because even dream is. A, if somebody dream you will die, you say, hey, you are entertaining evil thoughts. Anything that does not agree with God's plan as revealed in the scripture is an evil thought. Evil thoughts are brought by familiar spirits. Familiar spirit is not spirit that is from your family. My, I didn't explain that part. See, man of God, as long as I tell my, my dream, it doesn't mean it's just a familiar spirit. I beg. <laughs> do you understand about resisting the devil now? So we said, don't entertain him. What do you do? Confess scripture. Let somebody confess. Number two, rebuking Satan. Number one is what? Number two. Don't forget, we're talking about exercising authority. So number one, how do you exercise authority? By resisting Satan. How do you resist Satan? How do you resist Satan? By confessing scripture. All right? If a spirit come and tell you, you will die. You can't be saying, I am rich in Christ. You, you are surely mad. No. What you should confess should be a scripture that fights what that thought is bringing in your mind. You get it? That's what you need to read. If you don't read Bible, how will you confess scripture? <laughs> what did Jesus say, Satan? It is written. It is written. You, are, you read, don't say, I don't go there. No, it is written. Resisting by confessing scripture. Now, number two, rebuking Satan. Are you with me now? Okay, let's see Matthew chapter 4, verse 10 to 11. You have to rebuke the devil. Now, look up here. Before this time, 
Satan has tempted Jesus how many times? Twice. Eh? So, Jesus was resisting him, but he was still there. Now, look at this verse. Listen to what Jesus said. Then Jesus said to Satan, Eh? What did he say? That is it. Away with you, Satan. Go to the next verse. Then the devil. All the other times, Jesus resisted but did not rebuke. When you resist and he persists, that's when you start rebuking. He then says, away. So to rebuke the devil means to cast him out of the place of his oppression. In this time, he now says, in the name of Jesus, Satan, leave my mind. He's no longer in Christ. I'm here. No, you will now face him. So to resist, I confess scripture. To rebuke, I command the devil in the name of Jesus. I don't ask God to come. Rebuke means you address. Are you with me now? So you have to rebuke. There are many things happening in life because we do not rebuke Satan. And it's happening. It keeps continuing because we need to rebuke Satan. Can I show you something now? So I say, we have to rebuke by what? Commanding Satan. Listen to me. Listen. Your son is stubborn. This is how you pray. Oh Lord, deliver my son. He will not be delivered. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of stubbornness operating in my son, I command you to leave him and not come again. What are you doing? You are rebuking. Do you understand me? Resist and rebuke. Now, to rebuke Satan and have effect. Let me say this to you before I close this message. Before you rebuke Satan and he really listens to you, can I tell you something now? Number one, you need to identify his oppression. At the first problem that when you don't know to way they fight you, you know go feel work. He said, He that shall speak to this mountain, not to a mountain. Prayer is specific. Jesus, don't stand up. He said, You unclean identification. Identify. That is why sometimes in deliverance, we allow demons to talk. We ask him, Who are you? Because if you did pray, the demon not go. You must identify him. You must know his name. And sometimes their number. Mark chapter 5. What is your name? How many of you are there? You need to read the Bible. What is your name? How many of you are there? Jesus, he asked a question. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mark chapter 5. Verse 6. He had the demon. We, we really know that. Okay. Now, let's go on verse 5. Look at something. <laughs> When the demons saw Jesus, they came and worshipped him, but they not come off of the man. Look, tell, tell you, say, demons can be in your house, and they are, they all know that you are a man of prayer, and they are still making your child sick. They saw Jesus, they went and worshipped him, and said, now you be grand, but they don't come out. They will not go if you don't command them. They no go, go. They no go, go. They go, stay. Let's go back to scripture. Read that. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and tombs crying out, cutting himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. This is a madman. Madman came and worshipped him. So he's the demons in him. Read. And he cried out with a loud voice, What have I to do? What have not the word is I. Who is talking? The demon. But the demon used the voice of the man to talk. What have I to do with you, O oh Jesus of the Most High? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. It is not the man that was talking. The demon spoke to the vocal cords of the man. Now read. He said, For he said, not for Jesus is saying. So Jesus has said that go out. The demon began to beg. He no come out. Look and find. He said, why you torment me? So, there are prayers that can torment demons, but not cast them out. But they are tormented. You see it in church. They will manifest and shake. Next Sunday, they come again and shake. They were tormented, they were not cast out. Be smart. So, there are times you pray prayers in your house, you torment demons, they leave your marriage for one month, they come back, because you didn't cast them out. Look here, go ahead. 
for he spoke to him come out of the man what look at now unclean when the spirit no go next verse then jesus asked him what is your name why is jesus asking his name because he needs his name to drive him and he answered my name is legion for we are many not our name is legion bring it up you see english my name is legion for we are many it should be our names are legion we will get it soon my name is legion for we are many continue also he not they he he begged him and i said that he will not send him out of the country so legion is speaking we'll continue now look at something verse 12 so all the demons begged jesus now look now look 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 now something <laughs> when the prayer began the woman said the woman said i'm the strong man in her father's sight one demon spoke but that demon is a chief over other demons are you with me now the first voice that spoke you can hear that one the part where the demons begin to beg all you can hear is the person shouting and making ah! when you see us and people are mean ah, demons are talking but you can only hear it in the spirit but the chief when the chief demon talk he is the only one that can use the person's voice to talk because bible says all of them beg jesus if a legion is six thousand demons it means six thousand voices that man it's it not possible so in the part of all of them they, he was not making ah, 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 but in the spirit they were saying don't let us go don't let us go but the voice of the chief demon once you identify the chief demon and cast him out all his people must follow him and satan fell from heaven with his angels so if you don't pick this legion all the other demons are under him now to identify demons the first thing you need is the gift of discerning of spirits first content 12 verse 10 is a gift now the gift of the son of spirit is a gift that makes you see a person and know what kind of demon is operating like you spirit of dog you spirit of cat you spirit of bird if you don't know which kind you pray they will not go the second way to identify the demon operating hear me everybody is true dreams yet i tell you now when i hear me fine you are always in the village it shows you there's an ancestral spirit those dreams are to help you what to pray for and who to pray against in your dream you always see dog wake up in the, in the name of jesus listen to prayer you spirit of dog when you are praying any spirit fighting me those prayers can torment them they cannot cast them out any spirit holding my marriage i rebuke you they will be tormented but to cast them out it should be you spirit from my mother's side you spirit of cats so two ways you need to identify demons is by the gift of discerning spirit first Corinthians 12 10 and number two by observing or by spiritual dreams job 33 13 to 18. tell somebody pay attention to your dreams i can't hear you i can't hear you if not you know what you are fighting ah i'm always in my dream naked I'm fighting the spirit of shame. You cannot pray another any spirit in my life. Any spirit in my any spirit prayer. What will it do to them? Torment? Will it cast them out? Jesus was specific. You deaf and dumb spirit out. Or he will command the spirit by name or by oppression. <laughs> you feel pain in your stomach. This is how you pray. You put your hand there. Listen. Listen to what I'm doing you spirit of sickness causing pain in my stomach in the name of jesus i command you to stop your oppression now and leave my body now put a time now now and to anywhere and be thrown into the sea give them where to go to it's better you write it down you see how you pray the prayer so you start in you spirit operating in my marriage for confusion in the name of jesus i beg no i command you number one 
to stop your oppression and leave my home now in the name of Jesus. This is how you pray. Don't say any spirit fighting my marriage. He will torment them. He will not cast them out. Specific. You have a landlord. He's against prayer. Anytime you pray, you come and shout. How do you pray? You spirit in my landlord resisting my Christianity in the name of Jesus, I command you to stop operating through him now. From that day, peace. If your husband say, no can church, pray the prayer like that. Don't fight your husband. We don't fight flesh and blood. You spirit in my husband that is resisting my faith in Christ in the name of Jesus. Not to for your husband, no. He'll beat you. Listen to me. Spirit. The same air, yeah. It's the same air in Kumba Market now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Which means I can speak here. It's the same. Same thing for spirits. The person sometimes does not need to be there physically because the spirit is not there physically. He is in the spirit, though operating in the physical. So you can speak here and a demon leave your mother in the village. Specific. You spirit in my husband resisting my faith in Christ I command you to stop operating now leave him and I will serve God freely that's how you speak no oh God what have I done no no fight him identify him if your man says no can church you know the spirit is the spirit resisting your faith fight it like that man of God any business I do it does not work man of God pray for me pray for me your business will go like that. You have to understand and stand. In the name of Jesus, you demon of disappointment. Know that sometimes eh, you know the demon operating by what he's doing. If you keep having rejection, who spirit do you operate? Spirit of what? Rejection. Call his name. If you constantly have disappointment, which spirit is there? So, you unclean spirit, listen, you unclean spirit bringing disappointment in my life in the name of jesus i command you to stop and i command you to live my life that's how you pray this is jesus pattern of prayer so number one identify number two confront all right so how do you rebuke number one you do what identify how do you identify gift of the same spirit number two dream and number second way of rebuking demons is what confront or confront and conquer number one identify what's say no i know i'll drop in a spirit of dog then go pray if you know no you start an answer for all side me at this way i get baba spirit of poverty i get plenty but luckily you follow me like on ebay <laughs> show me some 118 verse 10 to 12 have you seen something there now? So we are in confronting. So how do you, two ways to rebuke demons. Number one, identify their oppression. Number two, confront and conquer. All nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I will, that's it, I will destroy them. That's it, it's okay. Confront. Hear me? Know the run the fight. You understand? I tell you, no run Number two, in confronting demons, you must understand <laughs> persistence because demons are stubborn. There's an issue I see. Somebody is praying for healing today. Next, you begin to pray for money. You will suffer. Follow one thing and conquer it. Then you go to the next one. For example, I saw a vision where they told me that 22 dwarfs are sent to attack me. So I know how many of them are there. 22. What kind of spirit? Dwarfs. So I have enough information to fight. If I'm going to say, you dwarfs, now I will call them by name. You know, eh, when you don't identify demons, leader van der Shobra, three of you come. Something will happen which is bad. Elekanda Ratsiga, come my brother. Come. <laughs> this guy is praying, right? I'm sorry. Sorry. Spirit of poverty. Eh? Spirit of shame. 
spirit of disappointment. Now look at something. Look, look at something. They are oppressing him. He starts praying. Any spirit. Uh, pray any, any spirit oppressing me, I command you out. Now, now watch. They will be shaking. Now, one day now, he understands that it's poverty. Pray against spirit of poverty. I command you the spirit of poverty. Live now in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch. There are still two other spirits. He doesn't know. So he came for prayer line and wrote on his paper, spiritual husband. But there is also spirit from grandfather. So the prophet prayed, spiritual husband left. She went home. But these two guys, see, they said, I go prayer line. No. Because we, she identified only one and rebuked one. So these two guys, and I said, okay, now spirit now of shame. You spirit of shame, I command you out in the mighty name of Jesus. This one, they still one. But watch, if he had identified all of them, he would have casted them all out the same day and the same time. Jesus sent out 6,000 demons with one confession. One. He said, all of you, go out. So that times you pray, all the, see the prayer point now. You are sick. You are poor. Trouble in your marriage. Not be one thing they fight you. Because one demon, if you bring two sick, one man get typhoid, they get gastric. It means there are two different demons operating. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why on prayer line, we ask you to write everything you are going through. So we don't undo typhoid and you go back with this demon of gastric. Because demons will honor the prayer the pastor prayed. So, a demon will come and be touching your head. We now pray. Leave me. You now go. Another one come and press your stomach. So you sum them all. All spirits operating in my body. I command you all. Leave now. All of them. One by one. They go pack by one by one. For kidney. Go. Liver. Go. Head. Intestine. They go. Come on. Go. But if you handle that one by one, they will stay. That's why I say identify. And sometimes to identify, you need to pray a lot. Call upon me. I will answer you and show you. Hey. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot do it on my own. Unless you take over. You know what it means? Unless he takes over and show you. Call upon me. I will show you. Listen to me. What you don't know is deeper than darkness. You are walking in. So look at the Christian fighting. Look at the demons fighting. But he's here. Out. Go out of my life. They are behind him. Now come and hold me behind. This, look at it. This is where they are. But he's here. Out. 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 Leave me. Leave me. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Free for where? Free for where? They will begin to pray here. I cannot do it on my own. Unless you take over. I cannot see it on my own. So Jesus take over. He opens your eye. And he says, the thing now for your back. You say, ah, now for here you'll be there. You handle it. So you need to pray so you can have revelation to I. You see, people pray and they go fast. If you are not identified demons, fasting is a waste of time. No, identify them. They enter fasting. You know what is fighting you. How can I see it on my own? Unless you take oh, over. Hey, Shakadaba, open my heart. How can I know it on my own? Unless you take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. Listen. Pray for revelation, my son. Pray. Be everything. Don't be blind. Say, Jeremiah, what do you see? Are you seeing what is fighting you? Can you see what is coming after your wife? God, what do you see? There are many of us, there is spiritual charm at the door of our house. Listen to me. Charm is not only put physically. A demon, a demon can come and urinate at your door. All must are sick for us. How can I see it on my own? Unless you take over. I will not know it on my own unless you take over. Lord, show me what is fighting me. That's, that's what you pray. Show me. Don't say, I say, no, show me. Show me. Look for a place. Go there and be alone. After Jacob suffered, even his wife, he sent his wife away. He said he was left alone. He said, God, wait till he fight me. 
and God came and said, The demon is on your name. I cannot see it on my own unless you take over. After four days fasting, you saw yourself in the village. God is saying, Nafia Papa, he has to come out. You cannot confirm what you have not identified. Hele koza makadabasha. Take over. Jesus, take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. I will not know it on my own. Hey, unless you take over. Spirits of prophecy. Malaka Yegasha. Jesus, take over. Imagine, now watch something. This is a man's life, right? You hide behind this pillar. You hide behind that pillar. You go behind that pillar. Thank you. You please sir, come behind this altar. <laughs> Demons bend down. They are in his life. He doesn't know where they are. Now come out. Come out and slap him. Go you back. Now look, look, look. Don't laugh. Look. He turned to look. The demon don't go begin to pray. Any demon, they are hiding. This devils can hide in your kidney. And you go hospital, they see bed, they see bed malaria, but they are in the kidney. I will not know it on my own. Unless you take over. Now, when he begin to pray, the Holy Ghost comes. He says, Go and check behind the pulpit. He now goes and he picks that one. Bring him here. Bring him out, cousin. Now he casts him out. He comes again. Go and check on the left pillar. This is the Holy Ghost giving you direction. He brings the one. Go and check at the right pillar. So what do you say? I cannot know it on my own. Unless you take over. How will I see this on my own? Unless you take over, take over, Jesus, take over, take over, Jesus, take over. How can I see it on my own? Unless you take over. I will not know it on my own. Hey, open my eyes. You take over. Listen, he will tell you. Say, my son is from the village. He will tell you. It is not in Kumba. You have to think because it's not, it's not Kumba. He will tell you it came in primary school. So every night you dream you're in primary school, he's telling you this is where the thing comes from. How will I know it on my own? Unless you take over, how can I see it on my own? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you take over, Lord, I've been praying about my marriage, it's not getting better. Stop fighting, demon. Identify where is it, Lord? He says, You are my light. He, he means that in darkness, he can, he can say, Now, so he did. Show me, Lord. People, listen. I have done twenty-one days fasting and targeted the wrong demon. Fasted. God said, "That's not what is fighting you." Twenty-one days of taking only water, and it was in waste. Because how will I know it on my own? Unless it takes over, I cannot see it on my own. Unless he takes over, take over, Jesus, take over, take over, Jesus, take over. Call upon me, I will answer you. Boy, any demon that resists your prayer, there's something you don't know. Why do you pray for others and they are healed? And pray for yourself and you are not healed. There is something you don't know. What do you not know, Senor? You, what you don't know is deeper than darkness. 
is darker than 12 midnight so the devil only comes at midnight when men are sleeping when we say when deep sleep falls on them when they don't know again so darkness is a state where the devil can operate what don't i know lord after being in the church serving god faithfully you still have disappointment after the man of god prophesied prayed for you you're not still married how will i know it on my own unless you take over this is not what you cry you say lord are you looking at me like this lord i'm not asking you to fight satan show me who said the battle come on i want fight only show me i'm not asking you to take it lord just show me you turn your nights into prayer you begin to sleep with worship songs because you are looking for revelation why can't i have a job after prophecy they deny me visa but why but how will you know it on your own unless it takes over you cannot see it on your own unless it takes over you'll never learn it on your own unless it takes over no trouble is strong we don't know where it is Once you have identified, you now confront. You see, Satan? Once light has come, forget okay. whether you are anointed how. As long as darkness still covers Satan, you won't win him. Once you bring light, say, ah, so now you this, you realize Satan is very small, very dry, very weak. He used darkness to make you think he was a monster but inside the, the darkness he was only a rat have you ever heard a rat making noise in your cupboard jumping jumping you open cupboard it's not a small picking rat nobody mommy said small one so now you made all the noise for us but when you hear the noise in the cupboard boom 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 you see snake you see a rat but how will you know it on your own unless he takes over pray for revelation don't be afraid ask god why do people die in my family every year? Ask God. Ask God. Why do I get healed? After three months, I get sick again. Ask him. There must be something that Satan is entering. Why do I always fight with my wife? Ask God. Satan, I think I open door for backside, for, for, for back house. You go take anoint oil, anoint front door. I have gone to my house and under the gate and I went and slept and God showed me another door in my room on the wall physically there is no door there but Satan went and opened another door there I went and anointed a different door but they entered by a different door but how will I know it on my own unless it takes over hear me only God can show you the thing where they fight you God. God will come in a dream, my son, and take you to your past, show you everything, and tell you now fight. But if he does not show you, you'll be boxing in the air. He that fights with that revelation is like a boxer that enters the ring and turns his back to his opponent and begins to box the air. He's thinking by many punches. Guess what? At the end of the fight, you'll be exhausted. Watch his boxing. Stand here. Right? You stand here. Turn this way. Be boxing with all your might, all your strength. Will never affect this man. This one needs to pray with that revelation. He needs to turn. This way you have to give damage. You can listen. You can be feeling pain. In, listen. You can be feeling pain in your head, but the demon causing it is inside in your leg. You are holding your head out, out, out. He's in your leg. But how will you know it on your own? Unless it takes over, stand on your feet. You'll never see this on your own.